Hello everyone, my name is Jake and I'm going to be introducing you to the field of geology. Geology is simply put the study of rocks and the earth. Now there is a bit more to it than that and we're actually going to do a bit of a deep dive into rocks and learn a bit more about them. First we're going to have a look at what a rock actually is. This is a sample of a rock. This rock has its own set of characteristics which is basically the things that it can do and what make it what it is. These characteristics will be different from this rock to this rock. Some rocks are hard, while some rocks are softer and might even crumble. Some rocks will have spaces inside them where things like air and water can collect, and some allow water to pass through them. At its basic level, a rock is actually a collection of minerals. Minerals can be identified within rocks by looking for a part of a rock which looks different. So if we can find the parts of rock which have different colour or distinctive shape, we can likely conclude that we have found a different mineral within the rock. A mineral is different to a rock in that minerals have a crystalline structure and are often made up of a single element such as carbon, which makes up diamond, or a compound such as silicon dioxide, which makes quartz. Minerals also have their own set of properties which can be tested to determine what mineral is present. These properties include hardness, seeing whether the mineral can be scratched by increasingly strong items, colour, there are several minerals which have a distinctive colour, and streak. By scratching the mineral on a tile called a streak plate, we can see what colour mark is left behind, which is not always the same as the colour of the mineral. Metals are also found within rocks and can be similar to minerals. However, in most cases, the metals are found within the minerals themselves. For example, iron is often found within the mineral hematite. Metals are often shiny, able to be bent into different shapes without being broken, allow heat and electricity to travel through them, and will melt into a liquid at higher temperatures. Both metals and minerals can be mined and extracted from rocks in order to be used in everyday items. And they're used in more things than you might expect. For example, did you know that pencil lead is made from the mineral graphite? Similarly, glass is made from quartz crystals. Sphalerite and chromite are used in dyes, copper is used in wiring, and silver in electronics. Now you should know a little bit more about what a rock is, what a mineral is, and what a metal is, as well as where minerals and metals are used in everyday life.